Hello, I'm Eric Brooks with Alpine Electronics. In this video, we're going to go over some install and setup information on some of the key products in the Alpine line. The products we're going to go over today are the ILX W650, our Power Stack amplifiers, the KTA450, and KTA200M. We're also going to discuss Alpine's Halo subwoofer enclosures. Let's get started. So we released the ILX W650 a couple of years ago and it's been a consistent bestseller in the industry. While the install of this unit is pretty straightforward, I wanted to go over some notes and things that we get asked pretty frequently, as well as go over the setup and tuning capabilities of this unit. First, it's essential that you connect the yellow with blue stripe parking brake wire to your parking brake during the install process. The brake will need to be engaged to access key menus for setup. Secondly, we recommend that you zip tie your USB extension cable to the main radio harness near the chassis of the radio. We found that securing the USB prevents tension and makes it more reliable when using sources that use lots of data. This will help prevent customers from potentially coming back with connectivity issues in the future. Next, I also recommend paying close attention to the connection for reverse camera trigger if you're installing a backup camera. Our reverse trigger wire is orange with a white stripe. Many vehicle install harnesses use orange with a white stripe as illumination. So it's easy to connect these wires together, which will not give you a proper trigger for reverse. This is just something to be mindful of to avoid spending additional time correcting the install. Finally, I urge you to pay close attention to the Bluetooth mic input and wired remote input on the back of the head unit. The Bluetooth mic and steering wheel control plug are identical sizes, so if you're not paying attention, I've seen them switched, which means your Bluetooth calling and steering wheel controls won't work properly. All right, now that we've covered some of the most common install related items, let's talk about setting up the ILX W650. Remember that to do any of the setup procedures, you will need to activate the menu by engaging the parking brake twice. So it goes brake on, brake off, brake on, then the setup menu icons will illuminate. If they don't, you'll need to check your parking brake connection that we discussed earlier. Once we are in the setup menu and it's activated, you can touch the Bluetooth icon and pair a Bluetooth device. After that, you can go in and set up your clock. Once these are set, you can go in and start to take advantage of the sound tuning capabilities of this head unit. On the main page of the ILX W650 sound setup menu, you'll see tabs for balance of fader, bass and treble, an EQ page with preset EQ parameters, and a subwoofer page where you can turn your subwoofer output on and off, adjust the output level, and change the phase of the output. There's also an advanced sound menu where you can go in and set adjustable crossover frequencies and slopes by channel. You can even attenuate the levels of your front, rear, and sub outputs to fine tune your system. ATTENTION! Something we found helpful when using the internal head unit amp and adding a subwoofer amp is to lower the output levels of the front and rear channels so the volume scaling is more level between the head unit and the sub amp. By adjusting the scaling, you'll get more voltage out of the sub RCAs before you reach the limits of the internal amp. This will give the customer more bass and prevent the potential customer complaint. Other items you can set up in the ILX W650's advanced sound menu is parametric EQ and time correction. Both features can be used to really dial in your system for a personalized sound experience. Another great feature of the ILX W650 is dual camera input. In the camera setup menu, you can turn on and prioritize your camera inputs. There are also pages for adjusting the camera picture quality and for adjusting the camera guide icons. The ILX W650 with all this adjustability is a great system building head unit. And once you have these features set up for your customer, they should have a great music experience in their vehicle. Now when we released the ILX W650, we also launched our KTA450 power pack amplifier. The KTA450 is a 50 watt by 4 amplifier with a technology called Dynamic Peak Power. We refer to it as DPP. DPP is a technology that allows this amp to produce double the power output in bursts. So when you're driving your amp, it can give you up to 100 watts by 4 without clipping. This amplifier comes with feet, so you can mount it anywhere, but it was designed to also mount directly to the back of the ILX W650. 
We call this mounting feature PowerStack. PowerStack received a CES Innovation Award in 2019, and since then, we've released another PowerStackable amp called the KTA200M. The KTA200M also has DPP, so this 200 watt RMS mono amplifier can deliver a true 400 watts of power when needed. These amps are very efficient. In the case of the KTA450, if your vehicle head unit constant wires a 20 amp fuse, you can get the amp's power right from there. If it has a smaller circuit, we suggest running a 10 gauge wire for power directly to the battery. Now since the KTA200M draws a little more current consistently, we suggest running a 10 gauge power wire to the battery every time. The rest of the connections for these amps are just like any other. To power stack your KTA450 or KTA200M is very easy. First, you install the power stack bracket onto your amp. Then on the back of the head unit, you'll remove the two small screws at the bottom of the rear chassis. Next, you'll clip in your power stack amp into place and use the two longer screws that come with the amp to secure the bracket to the head unit. That's it, your amp is stacked. Make sure when you're tuning the amp to ignore the printing on the switches themselves and follow the switch diagram silk screen on the amp. Once you have the amp wired and stacked, you can go ahead and mount it into the dash and enjoy the music. Hey everybody, I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to tell you about a killer new product that's on the way. It's called an ILX407. I haven't even seen one in person yet. But it has all the same install things that we talked about with the ILX W650. It's power stackable, just like the 650. It has all those sound tuning functions and all the same inputs and outputs the 650 has. But it adds HDMI input and output. And it also adds Maestro compatibility for integration into your vehicle. So be on the lookout for more videos on the ILX407 coming soon. Back to the video. All right, the next product I wanna go over is our Halo subwoofer enclosures. These enclosures are tuned to give great sound and incredible output with the Alpine subwoofers in them. With the ported design, they have great efficiency. The S-Series Halo enclosures have a power range that make them sound great with both our KTA200M or SA60M S-Series mono amplifier. Many of the comments we get about these enclosures is that they look more like custom boxes than a pre-made enclosure. We call them halo enclosures because they get their design cues from our halo floating display head units. The subs are mounted using threaded inserts so you can set the enclosure on any side and rotate the woofer without damaging the wood that it mounts into. You'll get a solid coupling of the sub to the enclosure every time. Another thing that makes these enclosures unique is the fact that you can link two of them together and easily go from a single woofer setup to a two subwoofer system. These brackets come with all the hardware you need and have a beautiful front port coupler bracket and solid steel plate bracket for the rear. To install the ProLink system, you start with putting the supplied dowels in place on the sides of the enclosures. Using these dowels, you line the enclosures up and once in place, use the supplied screws to attach the rear plate bracket. After that's mounted, you can install the front port bracket. Do this by removing the two screws near the ports on both enclosures. Then using the longer screws supplied with the bracket, line up the metal plates and port coupler. I usually get the screws started with a few threads by hand and then tighten it all together. Once the enclosures are mounted together, you can rotate the inverted woofer so the logos line up properly. Now connect these subs to your two KTA200Ms or two SA60Ms and you're ready to listen to your incredible sound system. Before we wrap it up today, I wanted to give you a minute to see our Jeep Wrangler JK that has two Halo S-Series 10-inch enclosures and two SA60Ms running them. This thing absolutely slams. And you can see with the Halo enclosures how custom this install looks. So that's it. It's been a quick review of these great Alpine products. You can find more videos and information on Alpine products on our YouTube page, Alpine TV. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Alpine Brooks for additional updates on Alpine products. Thanks for your time and for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.